Hey, assalamu alaikum everyone. Peace be upon you and welcome back to my channel. As many of you know, I recently got an iPad and I've been enjoying using it not just for illustrating but also for taking notes. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create digital stickers to use in your digital planner and study notes. I'll demonstrate in both Adobe Fresco and Procreate. Also, the stickers you see in this video will be available for download on my website, which I'll link down below. So if you want to support my work and use these stickers in your own digital planner or notes, check out my website. Okay, let's start with Procreate. You'll want to start with a canvas size that is at least 1500 by 1500 pixels. Because Procreate is a raster program which uses pixel data rather than mathematical formula like vector art does, you've got to start with a high resolution from the beginning. In practical terms, to avoid loss in quality, make it a rule for yourself to never enlarge drawings in Procreate. You can only shrink them without losing quality. So I just use the default square canvas in Procreate, which is 2048 by 2048 with an sRGB color space. And what I do is draw one sticker per layer or group. And I fill up the entire canvas with a sticker. I draw it really big. Because every time I'm done with a sticker, I'm going to toggle it off to hide it anyway. Or if my sticker is made up of multiple layers, I group up the layers and then I hide it. And then I start the next sticker on a new layer or group. When I'm all done with the stickers and I'm happy with the way each one looks, I check for any grouped layers and I duplicate those groups. Then I flatten the duplicated group and turn off the original group's visibility. The reason I keep the original groups here is in case I ever need to revisit the document and adjust any of those stickers. It'll be easier to refer back to the specific layers that make up that sticker rather than carefully erasing little bits and pieces of it. I hope that made sense. Now the awesome part. While I dislike that Procreate doesn't have vector options, I do appreciate its ability to export all layers individually. And you can do so as PNGs, which will maintain the transparency of each layer. After you've exported each layer individually, you can create a sticker sheet where you lay out all the stickers to fit on one sheet. I would recommend expanding the canvas a little so it's more of a rectangle and then shrinking the size of each sticker so that they fit on the sheet. I don't think it's a good idea to pack a lot of stickers onto one sheet because again, resolution. If you pack 50 stickers on a standard resolution sheet, each sticker will become really tiny. Be sure to hide any background layers and then you can export the sticker sheet as a PNG or even as a PDF to then import into your note-taking app like GoodNotes. Okay, on to Adobe Fresco. The last time you heard about Adobe Fresco from me was when I first got my iPad and I wasn't too amused by Fresco at the time. Since then, things have changed. Although I don't primarily use Fresco for digital drawings, I love that there's a desktop version for Windows, which works amazingly well for me, given that I have a beast of a PC. In terms of workflow, I can draw my stickers in Fresco on my iPad, and the file syncs automatically in Creative Cloud. So my sticker sheet is on my desktop app, ready for me to pick up where I left off. I love being able to do this because I work much more quickly on a desktop computer when I'm incorporating any design elements. Okay, so back to the stickers. I like to work kind of opposite of how I do in Procreate. So I like to set the canvas size as an eight and a half by 11 paper at 300 DPI. And I draw my stickers all over the sheet the way I want them to fit on my sticker sheet. Remember the awesome thing about Fresco is the vector brushes. I can draw the stickers smaller and fit them all on the sheet because I can enlarge each vector drawing without losing resolution. When I'm all done with the entire sticker sheet, I can export it as a PNG or PDF. Unfortunately, Fresco doesn't seem to have an option to export layers as individual files, which is a little annoying. So one option you have is to export from Fresco as a PSD and then open it up in Photoshop to export layers as individual files. If you want to do it all in Fresco, 
then you would have to toggle all the layers off, transform and enlarge each sticker that you want to export, and then export each sticker as a PNG manually one by one. If you don't care to create a sticker sheet with all of the stickers on one page and you just want to create a handful of separate stickers, then you can just follow the workflow I demonstrated for Procreate where you draw each sticker to fill up the canvas and then hide each sticker as you draw new stickers on new layers. Same workflow, but working with vector brushes. Again, the export would take longer in Fresco than in Procreate though because you can't automatically export all the layers as separate files. So all in all, while each of the apps have their flaws for this scenario, both apps do work great for creating digital stickers. If you're creating over like 15 stickers in one go and you want to be time efficient in the short term, then use Procreate and create separate stickers on separate layers so that you can automatically export all the layers as individual files in one click. If you're creating fewer stickers, but might revisit the file in the future to edit or add to them, I highly recommend using Fresco so that you have the lossless features of vector art. Keep in mind there is a free version of Adobe Fresco and it does come with all the tools. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you prefer Adobe Fresco or Procreate and why. Don't forget to check out my website where I have a sticker sheet available for purchase and some freebies. As always, thank you so much for your support. I'll talk to you in the next one.